Alright guys, it's Chikari here. I'm going to be playing some Binding of Isaac. I decided I would try it out, see what you guys think. If you like it, let me know in the comment section or leave me ratings. And just let me know. For those who have never played this game before, basically Isaac is running away from his mom. You jump down into his basement and there's a bunch of horrible creatures that you have to fight. He's very much trying to get away from her because she wants to kill him. I know it's a little morbid, but that's what it is. If you want to see the opening cutscene, let me know, and I'll record it next time. Alright, to move, you use ASDW. To attack, you use the arrow keys, which you're actually shooting your tears. To place a bomb, you use shift your E, and then your special items, you use space to use them. Which I will show you when I get one of those items. I've yet to beat this game. Beating mom is rather hard. I did it once on another computer, but when I got this new computer, it didn't exactly transfer over. Oh, that's not good. It still gave me range down. I can't shoot as far now. Kinda hoping it'd be a good pill. Alright, these guys aren't too bad because they have no real direction to them. They can't chase after you like some of the other monsters can. That's always nice. And today I also did post a new video of Minecraft, which I'm super excited about because I downloaded Optifine thanks to one of my friends suggesting it, and I actually got all the lag fixed. So that is wonderful, right? So this video will be a lot better quality, and the new recording system I'm using actually it lets me separate the game music from my my audio so I can get those levels worked out. So that black rock there that I'm holding up can get special things. And every once in a while a live bomb will pop out. Same with when you defeat a room or chess. Every once in a while a live bomb will pop out so it's always a good idea to look before running up to it. I really hate fly rooms. They're just, they're not my favorite at all. These guys aren't too bad, especially when they're encased like this, because they, it gives them only one means of getting out. But they will chase after you. They only take three hits to get them down. If you can get them in a line like that, it's not usually very hard. See, so every once in a while, like that, there'll be stuff in there. So why take the time to destroy them? Alright, I don't really want to fight the boss quite yet, so let's go ahead and over here. There we go, that's what I was looking for. The golden room on my left is a special item room. On this level it is unlocked, but on any levels after this I'll have to use a key to get in. There's also a shop on every level. You use a key to get in and you can buy items for a certain amount of points. I actually don't know what the remote does. I, there are so many items you can get in this game, and tarot cards and stuff like that, I honestly, it's almost impossible to know them all. Dang it, I hurt myself and not him, that's great. It's almost dead though, this is actually lust if you didn't see what it said, which is why he's chasing after me so fast. Awesome, I got poison touch. Oh, that means when I run into him, yeah. Remember that one. It's actually when I run into enemies, it'll actually- It'll still hurt me, but it'll poison them too. So I guess that's useful. I don't really like going into the boss battle with only two hearts, but the beginning one isn't that hard. Except when it ends up being hard. I thought maybe the hanged man would let me work a little faster. And it does let me hover over rocks. I can't shoot through the rocks, but it also means they can't get to me. And now for this thing. If you can get it stuck in a corner like that, it is the easiest way to get a lot of damage on it. But it's also really hard to do. Oh my gosh, I have half a heart. Holy shit. This isn't good. Might be a short episode.
trying to keep my distance. Oh, there we go. It won't be that short. At least I got some stats. Speed up. That's good. Make it easier for me to get away next time. Well, I'm starting this level with almost no help. What the hell? I didn't press anything. Well, I guess I worked out for the best, though. Here's a secret room. It usually has coins in it. Sometimes they'll have an arcade game in it. In this game, there's a slot machine, a shell game, which actually it's skulls, but a shell game, and then a blood bank, which actually takes half a heart and then will give you something. Alright, let's go this way. Flies, no. Another fucking freaking live bomb. Alright, these skull chests, you actually have to have a key to open. Which, I do. I just wanna get rid of these fires first. I'm kinda notorious for walking into them. I don't remember what that one does. Let's find out. Oh, it took me into the item room. Cool. I actually like monsters too. One of the bosses is named Monstro. And when you use this tooth, it will actually jump down on top of whatever you're fighting. Although, you can't use it on Monstro. Which I guess is a smart thing. I don't have a bomb anymore, because I actually used that one. Okay, when you find the item room, hopefully there'll be a bomb in there. Not the item room, but the store. And destroy these things. Oh my gosh, I hate when there's so many things in a room that shoot stuff at you. It makes it a lot harder to dodge. These guys are the white ones, any room you ever get them in. If you can stay at a distance, they won't notice you, but even with the normal starting range, you can hit them. So that's always nice to have there. Alright, let's keep going up and go all the way up here. The big fat flies shoot at you too. Rooms like this, I usually try to get, get them first. Because they're a lot harder to hide. I just failed on that one. If you are ever truly stuck in a room and you have a bomb, do you know that you can blow doors open. Alright, let's see, there's no bomb in here. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a spirit room. I'm gonna go ahead and build a compass. It actually, as you can see up in the top left corner now, the map is completely revealed to me, so. It's extremely useful when you first get into a level, like when I get into the next level in a minute. It actually will already show me the whole map. Extremely, extremely useful. Especially for people who are trying to do speedruns. Because, uh, you'll be able to know which way to go to get to the boss. I personally don't know if I'll ever try speedrun. I kind of like, I think it's more fun to enjoy the game and just kind of go from there rather than Try to speed through it as fast as you possibly can. I just don't have much fun in that. Oh, I don't have a key, but I'm... Oh well, hopefully I'll find one in this room, that'd be nice. I don't know how he didn't hurt me when I ran right over him. As long as he's up there, I'm gonna go and do that real quick. Oh my gosh, I moved at the last second. Really, a lot of these monsters, it's just about learning their timing and patterns. As I'm obviously failing it. He's a lot harder though, because since he shoots straight out of his sides, you can't really line up to him. It's like trying to get next to a king in chest, it won't work out for you. Even if it's the easiest way to kill him. in case I need it after the boss battle. Do the flies. Remember me saying I hate flies, right? One of the biggest reasons. And that is why the spa that space item is so useful. Because, well, it killed him in one shot. So what I'm about to go into, to my right, is a deal with the devil room. You can actually trade hearts for items. 
actually am going to trade for the shot. It will actually let you skip a level. So like see on this one, if I use it, it should let me skip to the next level. See, and I passed it. Honestly though, I should have used the item room before doing that. I'm trying to hit that TNT. Space items do charge up. Once you clear a room, it adds stats to it. They're just tearing me a new one. Let's see. There we go. Just got some of my health back. If you look up on the mini map in the top right corner of it, you'll see that little dice. That lets you know there's an arcade right there. I didn't realize when they had this big one. There's a super of every single, every monster that I've ever come in contact with. This one is just bigger and red. Most of them change colors as well. As you can see, they come back, and I died. I guess I'll go ahead and end this episode here. I do want to show you this. This dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some cave, which you can see whichever creature you got killed by will be there. It says, I leave all this, all that I own to my cat Guppy, and it shows you the items. I'm actually going to go back to the main menu and show you the collection page real quick. This page, all the question marks are all, and everything else are all the items you can get. See, like, I've gotten Max's head, dessert, all the food items are really gross food, but it gives you hearts. Wooden spoon, the rosary, all this stuff. And then the ones with question marks, I've yet to find. So if there's any question why I don't know what all the items do, that would be it. And actually, if you want to ever start a new game, you can delete the save. I'm obviously not going to try to press that right now, because then I have to start all over collecting this. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you had fun watching. Make sure to leave me a rating or leave me a comment so I know what you think. Bye, guys.